Yeah, I set it up already. So that's the setup and I'm doing beginner. So it says the cards are double sided. So on each of the other sides, it has a star, which is like the more difficult level. And so you, it says for your first game to do all the beginner, the easy side, but then you can increase the difficulty by flipping any, any of the cards to their difficult side. So you could do like any of them. The possibilities are endless up to seven different cards. <laughs> um, is it seven? Yeah. So yeah, each, each star adds one level. So there's up to level eight. So I'm at level one right now. And I assume the, the published version probably has like different maps or something that add different things instead of just the starting nine cards. So that's probably how it doesn't. Yeah, the published version has a full campaign. Okay, thanks for the lurk, Dakota. Good luck on your work. Lurk and work and lurk and work. Four chapters to the campaign. I wonder how long each chapter is. That's pretty cool. All right. So in this game, we're trying to, um, th there's, this is a mothership of aliens and, and they're coming down and attacking us um, based on the different symbols. And then, um, mm -mm, I need to burp, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so the aliens are gonna be attacking our base. So we want to survive because we can die we can lose by, uh, um, if, if the mothership comes down all the way, it's gonna be like coming down each turn. So if the mothership gets down to here, or if um, we're damaged, damage gets down here, and that's from the, the ships coming down. These are the ships coming down and shooting our base. Um, then we, we lose, but we wanna get our research up to the last spot. So we're just like trying to research, I guess, while these aliens are trying to kill us. And there's a lot of different things we can do. The So each each round is three phases. You you place dice. Okay, you have to roll the dice and place them. <laughs> so okay, I do have this. You, you roll the dice, place them into spots on your base, um, which is in this area. And then, but the, the thing is the, the number of the dice moves, moves the ships in that column. So if I take place like a five here on this spot, it moves this ship five spaces down. Um, but then you want a high number for, for the power because the next phase is, is resolving the room power. So like each of these does a different power, each room. Um, and the higher the number, the better the power is because you get that much. Uh, and then at the end of the round, then the mothership comes down one space, I think. Um, and then there's also like, it does something bad here, depending on where it is. So th there's lots of little symbols that do different things. So I'll, I'll have to be checking that <laughs> throughout the game. Um, so the different rooms that you have, some of them have modifiers here, like this minus one. So if I put a five here, this would still move five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, but the die value for my power would be a four. So that. Yeah, Woodfish Toys has, has really cool projects. Very nice. And the videos are really good too. <laughs> Um, good, good production value on the videos. Um, um, yeah, so that's that part. Um, also, when, when the alien ships land on a symbol, something happens. Uh, if they pass over it and don't land on it, then, then nothing happens. But when they land on it, something happens. So if, if it lands on an arrow space, it's going to go over to that space. Um, and then, so if there's two, two ships in a column, whenever you put a die in that column, I think 
I think the ships, both ships would move, right? Yeah. So that's kind of scary. Um, if it lands on an explosion, nothing immediately happens, but if you've, you, you can shoot it down if it's on that explosion space. That's the only way you can kill these ships. It has to be on an explosion sh space. Um, and then this spot, the mothership, you move, move the mothership one row closer. That's bad. Because that makes you, uh, you lose turns. Because at the end of each turn, it also moves one row closer. And you don't want it to get to this goal. But at the end of the round, the mothership is also going to do whatever action here. So I guess you can like move it to skip, skip one of those effects if you want. Um, if you can time it like that, because it's however these guys move that make it do that. Um, the effects that you can do are... Uh, um, so these ones that have minus one, it's just if you... If you place a die here, then the, the ship moves one less space than it normally would. So a five would make it move four instead of five. Um, this, you get energy. So this is your energy bar. You start with two. So if I put a five, I'm just using five for everything. If I had a five here, it would get, so it has a minus one modifier. So it would get, add four energy to, to here. Um, the max is seven. So you can't have more than seven energy. This is shooting down all enemy ships that have a number less than or equal to your die number, die value. Oh, okay, so these are the numbers. <laughs> okay. So if a ship is here, like if, if these ships are here, this is a four plus and a one plus, then I put, if I put like a th three on here or a four, let's say a four. If I had a four on here, the four minus one is a three. So my value is three. Um, it would be able to shoot down this one because that's a one. Uh, this one's a four, so this has to be at least four to shoot it down, so it would not shoot that one down. But if I had like a six on here, then it would shoot both of them down. And those sh shit ships go back here and get respawned, I think, <laughs> later. So the ships are just going to keep coming and coming. And that's scary. This is advancing the research track, um, one space, I think. Uh, oh, you can do multiple spaces. So you have to do, like, to advance multiple spaces, you have to have the die value be the sum, at least the sum of that. So if I want to go th two spaces here, it would have to be four. Uh, I can't do three spaces with one die because that would need eight. Um, but these are all different numbers. And that's how you win. You want to get to the 12 to, to win. And you, the, you can get this down here. You have to be down here because you need two, at least two dice to get that 12. So that leads, that's the, there's a, th this is an excavator and you're going to have to like move this down here in order to uncover more things in your base that you can do. So at first I can only do these things, but um, to move this, you can put a die on an open, on a not yet accessible space to move it to that die. Um, so it has to be, the die value has to be like at least the length that this has to move. So this is like one, two, three, four or something. So this would have to be at four or more in order for it to move there. Um, and then after it moves there, then you can use these ones. Uh, and then the last space is this blue space. It makes a robot, which is these blue dice. Uh, you get a blue die, and it, it, it becomes the value of whatever die you put there. And you put it in any, any open room, um, and it's a robot. So robots just work. <laughs> um, so you can use it once per round, except the round it was placed. It, it doesn't get it doesn't get placed it just stays in the same room I think and so it doesn't make the enemy ships move so you just use it but then each time you use it you decrease the value by one and then uh, when it's already one you just remove it so then the robot like deteriorates or something um, 
Yeah, so that's that part. Also, some of these actions cost energy. So that's that. Um, moving the excavator also costs one energy. And then these things do bad stuff. So this this one, uh, when, when you move the mothership, the, the, it does whatever action is right below it, and then it moves and covers it. So this one moves the excavator back, so it would go back, and so you can't do as much stuff. Uh, this one moves the research tracker back, which is bad, too. Oh, these are all bad. Um, <laughs> oh, this one adds a red enemy ship to the, to the mother, mother ship. Um, but they, okay, red ships don't get respawned. Okay, so that's not too bad. It just adds an extra ship for, until you kill it. Uh, and then this one gives, makes your base take damage. If a ship ever gets down to here, your base takes damage. So if you get too much damage, you die. So there's multiple ways to die and one way to win. So I don't know how well I'm going to do, but I guess we'll, we can just try starting. Mm. Um, oh, and yes, okay, so you're supposed to have black dice and white dice. I don't have that, so I have purple dice and yellow dice. So that this is white and this is black. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm going to be rolling them and then placing them on available. The white, I, I have to place one die in each column and... The white dice, whenever I place a yellow die, I, I have to re-roll all the remaining dice that have not been placed. So that can be good or bad, I guess. All right, let's start. <sighs> Will I defeat the aliens? Stay tuned. Okay, so I got two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So, things I need to do. I do want to move the excavator. I wonder if I should start by moving it all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, if I move it to here, six. This would move down six. One, two, three, four, six. And move over that way. Oof. Which, all right. That's okay, but I could maybe move something, do something else first, right? So th th this is like a lot of planning because you can, you can, you know what's going to happen, but then, so you can plan that. Um, so I want to do research. Research is good. I I'll need energy. So if I put it in here, then I don't get energy. Um, four is, maybe I can get four energy. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's not good. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> um, one, two, three. I guess I can look at. Ooh, I want this one to move four, and then I can shoot it down, huh? That'd be cool. This one, I want to move three. Although it doesn't really matter that much. I don't know. Maybe it does. Um, oof. There are not as many. Okay, so I, I think I want this one to move four. So I'm going to go here. Um, and so I'll get some energy. So this one's gonna go one, two, three, four. Um, and then I'm gonna put the six here. Uh, so this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and it moves over here. So now there's things in both columns. And because I placed the white die, which is yellow, I need to re-roll. Um, okay, so now I have six, four, and a one. Oof, do I want another six? One, two, three. Five, six, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so this one going six might be good. Ooh, that takes a couple energy. Um, let me see, I can... Okay, you can resolve rooms in any order. So I think I'm gonna go here. Wait, oh, I can't go there, that's past thing. No! Hmm. Oh, maybe, wait. No. So, yeah. I, I have to put them under these things. So this one is where I wanna shoot in order to attack. So I want this to move six. So I'm just gonna put it here <laughs> just so it moves six so I can kill it, but I don't get anything for it. That doesn't seem good. Well, I can't actually do anything, so that's fine. And then the four, one, two, three. No, I have the four I want here so I can kill things. One, two, three, four. And then I guess the one goes here. <laughs> I don't get anything for it, no. Or I can move the one here and then it doesn't move. Yeah, that's better. All right. Um, yes, it looks like it has some fun but tough decisions to make. It does seem like that. So I've done uh, phase one. So phase two is resolve rooms. I can resolve them in any order. So um, I can move the excavator. I can do that now, I guess. Uh, how do I suppose it to move? Do I have same or higher than the length there? So moving the excavator costs one energy. Um, so I spend one energy and then this goes here because it was one, two, three, four, five, six. It has to be the same or higher. So there. Uh, and then I'm going to get three energy because four minus one is three. So one, two, three. Um, I'm going to shoot things. So I have three. So any, and I use one energy. Okay. So any ship. Um, all enemy ships on explosion spaces that are equal to or less than three. So that's this one and this one gets shot um, And these will get respawned Okay, this does nothing And this also does nothing now. Okay Yay, so I I okay. I, I moved the excavator. That's good. I was like, I, I made no progress, <laughs> um, but the progress was moving the excavator. That's because uh, the progress I really want to do is getting these research things. So right now there's, there's nothing under the arrow. So the mothership does nothing, but it's going to move down and then whoop, like that. And now I respawn the ship. So that works by Unoccupied. Green ships are placed before red ships. Place ships only in empty columns if possible. Okay. Boop and boop. Okay. Okay. Ah, they keep coming. So what you want to do is have them all land on explosion spaces and shoot them, but then also be uh, getting research <laughs> all the time. Okay, that's tough. So at the end of this round, the excavator is going to move back one space, which means it's going to go here, which is not fun. Um, but maybe I can get some research in during this round um, or move the excavator more. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so three, five, four, four, five. Um, but whenever I place these, I'm going to have to reroll. So, because uh, I want this one to be a one, huh? One, two, three, four. Four looks good for this one. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Oof, and so I can shoot down. No, but I want, okay. Oh, the problem is all my research. These research things are not on, are on the shooting down column. And you can only put one in each column. So like I can't shoot down right now if I'm researching, which is, oof, that's tough. So, but I want to shoot down. Well, okay, maybe, I'll, maybe I'm just gonna research here, huh? 
All right, maybe I'll shoot down here, get some energy, and then research as well. Maybe I can do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Um, four. So I'm going to do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wait, not that five, this five. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this five here. Three, four, five. That moves a lot, but I have to re-roll everything now. Um, lots of mental iterating through possible moves. So the nice thing about solo games, you aren't holding anyone else with your planning or AP. Yep. Although when when you're streaming a solo game, you kind of don't want to hold people up either. Ooh, a six, a three, and another five. Okay, well then. I didn't get a one for this one. This is scary. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four. Well, okay, if I... I hmm. Oof, and I need... I need some... Uh, Energy. Let's see. Uh, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Six is good for that. Okay, so I can five. So six, I can put in this column. Um, I think I want to get energy because I'm using a bunch of energy. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then the five. Um, I can do here. And since it will be blocked, so Ooh, maybe I can get a robot. Should I get a robot? Yeah, I'll get a robot. And then a three. Oh, and I couldn't have gotten this anyway, so I'm fine. Oh, and I didn't move the five. One, two, three, four, five. So since this space isn't open, it, it doesn't move, I think. Um, okay. Oh, and then I have to re-roll the three because... So that's kind of scary. I got a three anyway. Okay. Uh, Um, one, two, three, oh, uh -oh. okay, I'm just gonna go here, so it only goes two, and it's gonna go here, instead of moving the mothership, oh well, okay, so this doesn't do anything, um, I'm going to research, so this is five, I spend one energy to research with a four, so I can move up two, because it's three plus one, um, I will spend uh, two energy to shoot all of the things, and it was a six, so this and this blow up. That was it, huh? Okay. Um, th this, I get six energy. And this is four. So I get a robot with this number of four, and I think I can put that anywhere. So, where do I want that? Maybe I should just have it like getting energy each turn. <laughs> that might be nice. Yeah, I'm going to just have the robot getting me energy each turn. Um, although that's under this robot spot that I don't want anyway. Or maybe I can have it uh, getting me... No, research? Hmm. 
No, yeah. Energy seems good. Okay. All right. Um, oh, it's relaxing. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to sit down and really puzzle out the best move in a solo game without any pressure. Yep. I, I didn't play many solo games before. Like, I just recently started playing them, and I was doing, like, the print and play, uh, or the roll and write play-alongs before last week. So this is, like... Or last week was the first time I was doing like a solo, solo game. Okay, so now the excavator moves back one space. So this goes back here and covers up the, that robot. And then this moves down and then these get refreshed. Um, unoccupied spots, so... Uh, I guess I can pick which which column. I don't know. I'll go here and since since uh, there's like a bunch of empty ones. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so next round. Um, you also got warp's edge. Seems similar to this, but bag builder instead. Huh. Cool. Okay. So I think I need to move the excavator again because I want to get these high research things. So one, two, three, four. Maybe if I get a six down here. One, two, three, four. Or a four. I want a four, huh? Okay. Let's see what I want. Um, two, three, four. A four can go. Jeez, I don't have any fours. <laughs> Okay, a five can go here. One, two, three, four. Nope. <laughs> four. Okay, I would want a four, but I don't have a four. So I'm going to need that reroll. Three, four. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Six, one, two. This seems scary with uh, two things in one column. Three, four, five. Okay, so this this moving five is good. Okay, so there. Five. I might just use the five here and try to reroll everything. So I'm gonna get a research, but it's wasting a research. But oh well. Three. Four, five. Ah. Your name here in the Argonauts next week? I don't have... Is that a print and play? I think... Did you mention that one last week? Um, oh, here's some fours. I wanted the fours, right? Um... Um, so I still have to place dice in all of these, even though this is, this is here. I still have to place a die in that column. So I'm going to need to shoot. Uh, I have things here. I'm going to try to land this on here. So I need at least like a three to shoot them down. Right? So if I put a four here, this is scary. Uh, one, two, three. I don't have a three right now. Oh, but I have a four here that I can put here and then make it go three. And then that would go there, huh? That's just also kind of scary. So maybe I can save that for that, get the four over here, and then I want a six on this shooting down thing. Because I, I, I want to shoot them down there. So I'm going to try that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I need more research and possibly enter one, two, three. Four. That's using up all that energy that I'm buying. I don't, I don't need more energy, I don't think. Um, and so I want the four down. The five. Wait. The four I was going to put here. The five. 
Oh, this one, there's no ships here, so I can put whatever I want here. Which will be a five, I guess. Five can go. Oh, well, that doesn't help. I'm just going to get extra energy, which is useless. Right? Or maybe I should do... Maybe I should only just move the excavator... No, I want the excavator to move a lot. Okay, I'm just going to get overloaded on energy then, I guess. Four here. Or maybe... Okay. No, I'm going to... Yeah, I guess I'll do that. So one, two, three, four, and then this makes it move three. So one, two, three, which moves it here. One, two, three. Okay. <sighs> All right. <sighs> okay, so this one I research. I only move one space, but I spent an energy. This one I spend two energies and blow up. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, yep, that's it. Um, this one, I spend one energy and move the excavator there. Um, and then I get a bunch of energy. Or actually, maybe, I, do I have to use that? Okay, I wonder if I have to use that the robot, or can I not? Oh, you can choose not to use the die. And it keeps its value. Okay. But I wonder if I use a room. Okay, I think I have to use... Okay, so a room with multiple spaces can be used only if every space has a die. Oh, okay. So you have to have a die in every space to use it. So I think you do use this. Um, so I can't just use part of it. So I'll have to be putting dice here anyway. Oops. Okay. And that was that. All right. So now the mothership. Oh, I forgot to see what it does. Okay. It gets the red cube. Um, I think it just goes on the mothership. Okay. And now we, we put these here. Okay. And then the red ship will go every space um if every column had a ship choose a starting spot with the most empty spaces between it and the column's top ship so that would be here i think <laughs> all right now i roll again so now i want a lot of threes right for these things to land on threes and i got none okay This one can be a five. That can be a five. Oh, and I forgot to move this down one. Okay. Okay, so if one, two, three, four, five. If I move this, if I have a five here for research, that's nice. I can research a bunch, maybe. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oof, but then that's that's dangerous because I don't want to put a six here <laughs> Yeah, okay. I don't think I want to do that. Um Okay, I can put a five here to attack things that might be the best But let's let's wait on that um, Okay, I could put a one here Do I want to do a one for research? Uh, that's not great. I can get a one robot. That's also useless. These ones are not good. One, two, three, four. Um, I feel like I want to put a five here as well, but I don't have... I Once I put the five, I won't have a five. Um, so 
because it'll have to re-roll it, so I'm not sure. Okay, so do I want to use the six? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if I use the six, oof, but I want to six to fight. Ooh, a plus one, that's nice. I think putting a six here might be good. Boom, because then it, it can shoot things. Plus one. I mean, it doesn't need to be a six, but it's going to be plus one. Oh, this is going to move the research track back one. That's not good. Oh, well. That's okay. I'm just going to research the five, so then it's easy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to research that six yet. Um, yeah, okay. Or I can just do like a three. I don't know. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, which one is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh oh, is it that one. Maybe that one's just gonna go. I, I mean, I can take some damage, so maybe maybe I can take the damage. Ideally, I want a four right here. So where do I want the five? Um, one, two, three. I want the five in this column. So I can do, oh, that's, oh, I should have, well, I don't, I don't know what to do with the five now. I guess I'll put it here in case I get a research. I could, it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm re-rolling. Um, three, three, and one. Uh, which I think I wanted... Ooh, this one hitting three is good. Oof, except for that one's not as good. But then the excavator will move back instead of losing a research, so maybe that is good. So maybe I want a three here. Oh, so I can either get energy or research. So I think I'm going to get research. Um... Okay, so I think I'm going to go, like, okay, three, three here. So this goes one, two, three. Oh, wait, not yet, not yet. What happens if, if the mothership lands on, on a spaceship? I wonder. I think they just go on the mothership card. So I'm going to just move this. I'm going to put a one here. <laughs> I'm using up a bunch of energy. One, two, three, four. Um, a three here. One, two, three. So the mothership moves down one. And this gets picked back up. Uh, and then a three here. So one, two, three. Whew, okay. So I think that's good. So now I'm not using this robot. Um, I'm using this two energy to shoot a bunch of things with cost seven to those that all got shot. Uh, so this one, these are still alive. Um... This eight, I'm doing eight research. Do I want to do, no, no, I want to do this first. So two research first, so one for that there, and then a one research with one energy, and then another energy for eight research, which is there. Woohoo! 
Um, and that's it. All right, I think that was a good turn. And so now the mothership moves the excavator back one space, so I can't use that research anymore. I'm gonna need to um, do that. Oh, so this card can just go away. Ominous when that mothership moves, yeah. I can move the whole thing. Uh, I'll, I'll do that next time. Um, it's kind of cool how it moves though, because it's all different cards, so you can just move the mothership card on top of it. Um, so then these go boop, 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 boop. Endless, endless ships. All right, I just need to keep keep researching. I can do this. I'm getting the, the hang of it now, I think, or like the, the flow of it. Um, okay, Oof, lots of high numbers, six, six, five, two, six, four. So here I want a two and a three here. Okay, a two is okay, I guess. Um, Four. Okay, six going here is fine. Six. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. Because this is going to kill things. I'm going to need energy. So uh, I want to get a two or a three here. So maybe I just put the two here. I kill the red one, and this one would go over here. But then I don't want it to move. Whew, that's kind of scary. Um, but I can put a four on this one first. Oh, no, no, because I have to re-roll if I do that. Maybe I should. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should do that now. Okay, let's see, do I want a five? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I could do a five in here. Five. I'm gonna need to move that excavator. So this is five and then a four. One, two, three, four, five. I want to go five here. So one, two, three, four, five. It moves here. And then I'm going to do a four here somewhere <laughs> in this column. Uh, I don't need to shoot it again. So I'll go here and get a robot. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. They're going to land on those spots. And then I have to re-roll because that was a yellow die. The puzzle's clicking into place. Looks like you're doing well. Famous last words. <laughs> I have a four and a three. Okay. Um, okay, I think putting a three here is okay. And then the four going here is, is not terrible, I guess. Um... But what do I want to do with that for? I guess I can get more energy. Yeah, six. I get more energy. Okay. Um, oh wait, I didn't actually move the things. <laughs> this moves three, and then this moves four. Okay. So, uh-huh, let's get the energy. So four, one, two, three, four. Fire off. Room two, so everything on, it was a six, so all of these are less than six or equal to, so these all explode. Um, I get a four robot, I guess, or a three robot, because that's a minus one, and I spend one energy for that, which is, I will put, where should I put it? Oh, the excavator is going to move back two spaces this time. So that's. Wait. Oh, shoot. That was not energy. That 
was moving. Okay, wait, I... How much energy did I get for that? Four? Okay, so I should not have that energy. Um, yes, that was a misplay. So I placed the four here, but I, I, I'm excavated down to this way, not that way. So um, I should just paste it here and not done anything with it. Let's just say I did that. Um, okay. Uh, So, the six, I get six energy. Whoops, and this turns into a two. Um, or I guess I could have excavated, but yeah, whatever. This is a five, so I spend one energy to research two plus three. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, there's arrows there. Okay, I did that wrong. So I researched like all of this like that, but it's supposed to go that way. So I don't know what to do now. I guess I can just say I did that. <laughs> I did it out of order, but I did those numbers. Okay, so then it's supposed to go like that and that. I, I keep getting confused like how, because it's going like that for the, like the snake for all of these. Um, should I get a robot of three? It cost one energy. I guess I'll get a three robot and put it... <laughs> I'll just put it here so I get some energy each turn. All right. Um, okay. So the excavator moves back to, which is this way now. And I'm going to need to get that there because these are bigger, bigger science. Uh, this goes down and these go, um, oh, these are tied. Does it have a tiebreaker? If every column has a ship, choose a starting spot with the most empty spaces between it and the column's top ship. The choice is yours if there's multiple, multiple options. Okay. So, I'll put it here since if I get a one, both of them will land on spots to kill them. Okay. All right. So should I do that one? the one. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that one. That just kills those ships, but hmm. this is tough. I need, to... I need to actually go. Ah, Okay, so what do I need to do this turn? I need to excavate, so I need to get a big number. One, two, three, four, five, like a six or something. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's not good. That would make this kill. I could do a five here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, I could do a five here if I rolled a five, but I didn't roll a five. Um, so ideally I'd want a five here. Uh, so I can get a two here, maybe. Um. So I want a five there, but I don't have a five. I want like a one here. Oh, but if I have a five here, no, then I need like a big number here to kill them. So one, two, three, four. I need a five at least. I need a five here, but I need a six for the thing. Oh my gosh, that's hard. So I need a six here, but then, then, then they'll die. So, I think this is just not going to happen. I can't excavate and kill. 
So I think I'm going to have to take some base damage because I need to excavate and kill here. So one, two, three. Okay, if I get the five here, I'll have to put a five here and then excavate down to here. Hmm. And so I'm, I think I'm just going to put the six here and be like, I'm taking this damage. <laughs> so I think that means it hit... It hit if should... It hit that, I think. Does it land on that space? Does this space land? I think it has to pass that, so next turn it'll it'll kill the damage. Um, and so I think the red ships just uh, I don't know if it respawns if, I, if it's not if it crashes into me maybe it will I'll just say it does um, okay and then, mm, so that I have to reroll everything because that was a yellow. I didn't get a five still. No. <laughs> um, it's not good. Not good. Um, so the two, should I put the two? Okay, I'm just going to put the two here and make it go like a one for both of those. So those will get shot down and I have to re-roll. I'm hoping for a five, right? Five, come on, five, 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 five. That is not a five, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to do a six then here to shoot him down. It's scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then one and one. Okay, so I can do a one here. Ugh. I mean, it doesn't... I don't think I have to use them. Uh-oh. And this has to go... Okay, there. It doesn't move. Okay. Whew. All right. That wasn't a very good turn. <laughs> so these don't do anything. This doesn't... Oh, this... Uh, I spend one energy to move the excavator down there, so I'm going to be able to do some more more things. Um, and here I don't spend the energy because... I'm, I'm not going to do it because I need four to research. Uh, and then I spend two energy to shoot down with a power of six so those get shot um, and then I get five energy and this goes down to one and this goes down to two okay oh and then the oh I go down two research tracks is that right one two that's what that is right I forgot about that okay that's okay but that's the last of the research and these were easy ones Phew. okay it's going to give me a red cube. Oh my, I only have this many turns left. So I, I need to hustle on the researching. Um, I should just do all researching now, huh? Can I do that? No, I need, I need so much research. So I'm going to need 3, uh, 14. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot. <laughs> okay. But 6... Um, so I'm going to need 11 and then 3 and a 4. Oh my gosh. Oh, and these, sorry, these move here. I was like, where are all the ships? That makes more sense. One, 
two, three, four, five. Nope. Uh, one, two, three. So this one needs to be like a one. Ugh. Two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So I want six over here. Let's see if I can get a robot. Maybe I'll get a robot and put it on the research thing. Two, four, six. Um, then ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want a two here. Or, and I'm going to need to have a six here to shoot things, huh? Or here. Wait, let's see. This is a five plus. Or here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll do it here. And then. One, two, I could do it. one, two, three, four, five. Huh. Two, three. <sighs> this is scary. One, two, three, four. Okay. I might end up doing just like research here and then shooting some stuff here. One, two, three. Um, so here, this is going to go three. Uh, this, I think I'm giving up on this one probably, but I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess I'll do a six. Hmm, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I'll do a six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. I mean, oh shoot, I forgot I have to reroll when I do the six. Okay, so I have a four and a three. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to do the three here. Okay, and that's perfect. Okay, uh, one, two, three. This one shoots me. And then the four here. One, two, three, four. That one shoots me as well. Ha, <laughs> ha, perfect. Um, okay, so now science. Um, I spend one energy and I get seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only need that much left. Ah, um, this doesn't do anything. I'm going to get three. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to spend two, two energy to shoot down these ones. Uh, and then I'll spend two energy to get a robot of six. Oh wait, first I'm spending this to get three energy. So whatever, it was fine. So I have one now here. Okay, and then I'm getting a robot of six, which I'm putting right, uh, uh. <laughs> here, I think, because I want that spot open for firing things. Okay. <sighs> All right. And now, mothership, I get another red cube. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, and then I don't have room for all of the ships it has. Okay. Let's get this. So I need a five here for uh, one, two, three, four, for fun. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, I'm going to put a one there. I'm going to get two energy. That's not that much. But these are going like that. Um, and then I'm going to put a five. Well, okay. Three and a six. Okay. I want a six plus. Oof, that's going to be hard. Okay, wait. I'm going to undo that. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I, I'm going to redo that. Okay, fine. I'm going to put a five here. One, two, three, four, five. So that moves there. Scary. And I have to re-roll. Oh, um, my stream title is wrong. Whoops. I'm sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Um, <laughs> I forgot to change it. Uh, was it under falling skies? Yes. <laughs> there. I updated it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Also, hi, Crystal. Um, Am I re-rolling? I'm re-rolling. Okay. Five, four, and four. Uh-oh. No six. I need a six for that. This was dangerous and not great. Um, should I go for... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I should just put a five and then I won't kill that one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. This is hard, hard to kill these things. Oops. One, two, three, four. Ugh. All right. Um, oh, shoot. How much? <laughs> Was this at four? I think I knocked it. I don't know how much I had. It was some somewhere. Uh, huh. Okay. I, okay. I just need to go like really fast and go for it because I'm gonna need a six six here. Uh, yeah, oof. So I think I'm just gonna go for next turn trying to win. Because if I, if I do it, it just like automatically wins, I think. Yes, okay. Um, good night, Sorrow. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's too late. Oh, raid! Thanks for the raid, Rel. Hi. How's your stream? Thanks for the follow, Mr. Lunches. Yay! So today I'm playing um, Under Falling Skies print and play version, uh, which I realize now since the mothership has come down a bit, I can move this up so it's more centered. Anyway, uh, this is a solo game where I'm trying to fight off these, these alien ships and uh, research, get my research thing up, up to here and stay alive. But yeah, it's very, it's, it's fun so far, <laughs> but it's, it's stressful. Um, Okay, so one, two, three. I think I'm gonna go here. Thanks for the follow, he Heroic Logic. Yay, thank you. Um, my PNP was here to shame. Uh, thanks. I, it's it's just I printed it on paper, uh, like regular printer paper, and then glued it onto cardstock on both sides, and then cut it out. Um, so. Like it's peeling in some places like this because I 
I was using a glue stick and I guess I need to use a lot of glue and I think next time I want to use like sticker paper or something because that's a lot easier. It takes a long time to glue everything. Um, Ooh, you just got, um, oh, hydrate. Under Falling Skies and Mule, cool. Yeah, so the actual, ver the, 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 the published version, so one, two, three, four, the published version has, um, one, two, three, four, oof. The published version has, um, <laughs> I'm just blanking out, a campaign mode or something. Um, Oh, yay, thanks, Heroic Logic. Yeah, our Twitch channel is relatively recent. It's like, oh, yay, using the new emotes. <laughs> um, we, I don't remember. Crystal, when did we start streaming on Twitch? I don't know. Yay! Thanks for the gift sub, Crystal. <laughs> thanks for Ruel. Ruel can use our emotes now. Our new emotes. Okay, our first stream was years ago, but like we started regularly using Twitch more recently, right? Like sometime last year, I think. Yeah, we, we did have like a, uh, did we have, oh yeah, we, we played like on BGA years ago, but, but not regularly, just like once or something for a special thing. I can't remember anything from 2020, Crystal. <laughs> well, I know I started this like PNP streaming thing uh, sometime in 2020, in the summer, I think. Because I also started doing segments on Board Game Breakfast. So it was around that time because I was like, I'm double dipping. Um, oh, the Jelly Beans. I think the Jelly Beans was on YouTube. Uh, okay, so... I did all of, I placed everything. So I am going to research 11. Oh, and this goes down to five. Oh, poop. That robot is gonna mess me up. <laughs> I should not have put that robot there, no. Can I kill robots? Oh no. Hmm. Can I kill a robot? No. No, I can't kill it. This robot is going to kill me. Because I need this to be a six. Oh well. I'm probably going to lose. Unless I can get the excavator down all the way here. <laughs> no! That was bad. I can remove robots? Like, if I just don't want it? I can just kill it? So in, in the PNP rules, it doesn't say, I don't think. Oh, you can, oh, no, it does. Okay, oh, you can choose to remove a robot at any time. Okay. Phew, okay. I'm removing that one. Okay, so then this goes here. Um, and then, and I used an energy for that. Did I use an energy for the first one? I don't think I did. Okay, I get four energy for this. Do, do, do. Um, I spend two energy on shooting things that are five or less. So this one does not die, but this one does, this one does. Oh, and that's it. Oof. And then I get two more energy. Okay, okay. Whew. All the robots are gone. Yes. Okay, yeah. So I, I skipped over the robot part, but yes, we can remove robots. So I killed that robot. Because I need to get six and six right here um, to win. Oh, but the excavator moves back one. This goes, mother ship moves forward one. This goes back on the ship. Um, and then the ships come out. So the greens go here and here and the reds go here and here, I think. Okay. So now I just need to roll a bunch of sixes. Oh no, oh I roll two sixes and then a bunch of like ones so that they don't, so their ones don't go too far. 
Those are not sixes. Okay. Not good, not good. Um. So. Do I want this one? No. Um, so, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, it's going to be shooting stuff. So I need, <laughs> I need things not to move. One. Uh. I guess I can get an energy and have this move there. Whatever. Now I re-roll. So I get re-rolls whenever I do a yellow die. Thanks for the lurk, Rua. Um, that was also not sixes, no! <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Um, Um, okay, okay, one, two, three, this is gonna kill me. Uh, ha, ha, ha. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's gonna kill me. I guess I'm gonna put this here and then get one, two, so this one shoots me for one. Eek! Scary. And I get one more reroll. <gasps> yes! Okay, okay. <laughs> Can I do it? One, two, three, four. That shoots me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> All right, I think I think I can do it. This does it. Okay, yeah, because I think that this did not kill me yet, and then I'm resolving, and I get twelve research, spend an energy, and get twelve, and yay! But I got to the end, and I think that just ends, right? Right? <laughs> it says game end. Uh, you win if you get the research marker to the last base of the research track, and I did not get to the school yet. This did not get to the school yet. So I think I think I won. That was close. I got lucky. <laughs> I rolled those sixes. <gasps> Ooh. But that was on the easy, easy difficulty. So that's, that's, ah. Uh. Um, do I like the game? Yes, I liked it. I liked it. Um, but yeah, that was easy difficulty. So each of these cards has a backside. I'm gonna set it up again so you can see. Wait, I wanna take a picture. I need to pick, take a picture <laughs> of the final game state. I guess I can do it this way, huh? Um. <laughs> oh, thanks for the bits, Dragon Bear! <laughs> Woo, victory! Um. Turn on level eight. <laughs> yeah, so this is level one and each, each card you can turn over once e Each card you turn over is another level uh, So it goes from one to eight um, So I'll take these off and show you But this was like This Right, okay Here. So then the opposite side of the mothership starts with two red ships. That makes it harder. The opposite side of this one, um, yeah, just, oh, the explosions are, are bigger. There's more bad stuff. The bad, so basically the bad stuff is worse and the explosions have to be higher. Oh, this is a seven plus. Oh, thanks for the raid, Board Game Geek TV. Hi. <laughs> Raid, 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 raid. Um, I, 
I just finished playing Under Falling Skies, the PNP version. Um, hi Wigsby, hi Zen Racer. Uh, the yeah, and I and I won, but I was on level one, and I'm showing all the other sides of the cards how they're harder. <laughs> yeah, lots. Oh, lots of mothership movement there. I never landed on. Oh no, I once I landed on a mothership movement. Um. Yeah. So. What were you playing over on Board Game Geek TV? I saw, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, this is the original PNP. Oh, okay, and then, oh, and then for the, oh, the modifiers are, are more negative. I'm not sure how this, the double things work. Yay, thanks for the follow, Gallant Old Glory. Um, yeah, so if there's double, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so if it's both of these, then, then you, some of the dice in both of these effects happen. That's how that works. Um, oh, Cubitos was what they're playing tonight. Cool. How was that? Is it good? I have not played it. Yeah, so the original PNP of this game is just nine cards. Uh, it's... So one page of paper, front and back. Um, I printed it on two pages and then glued it onto cardstock. So that's how I did that. They also have a low ink version. So um, if you don't want to use too much ink on your printer, I just changed the ink on my printer. So, so I was like, I can just print with, with all the color. <laughs> So that's why I'm printing all, all the color and it looks nice. Yeah, so that was fun. And the actual version, the published version now has campaign mode. I don't really know all of the things they've added, uh, but I assume like the base gameplay is still the same. Yeah, I liked it. Hope you all liked it too. <laughs> I don't know. I never know how exciting it is for, for people to watch compared to me playing. <laughs> Cause there were some times where I was like, just trying to figure out what to do and probably isn't as uh, tense if you're, you're just watching rather than like, does it still feel like the spaceships are coming for you? I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's Under Falling Skies. 